Good afternoon YouTube, this is Scott with InsideTheCurve.com I decided to do something a little different today and do a uh, overview of my uh, DIY CNC Arduino uh, router See I got a nice LED light above the table Doing some rapid movements here of, uh, of the CNC machine uh, I think it's about 100 inches a minute I uh, had it set a little low. They can do about 200 inches pretty easily. Z axis. Going up and down there. There's a play that made it work, but it's off the Open Builds uh, platform. If you haven't checked out OpenBuilds.com, I highly recommend it. That's where I got most of the supplies for this router. Going along the Y axis, running diagonally there. Still at 100 inches a minute. You'll see that here shortly. Very solid machine. Here's kind of a top view looking down. It's all ran on uh, ball screws. And here we are inside a UGS, Universal G Code Sender. Uh, pretty happy with this software. It does a little buggy once in a while, but uh, nothing too serious. Uh, I'll do a more in depth video on this at some point. Uh, sorry the screen's so dim, let didn't have my charger cooked in and do it. Uh, feed right there, you see 100 inches a minute. Here's my stepper motors. I think these are 250 ounce NEMA 23s. Uh, those couplers are much better than the, the ones you get from uh, open builds, but uh, they work pretty good. Uh, both uh, stepper motors on the Y axis. Just kind of a close up of the ball screw. Pardon my thumb there in the way, amateur. Ball screw on both sides, of course. Only place the lead screw is, is on the Z axis, which you know, I would I wish it was a ball screw, but no issues with that yet so far. Uh, I think this is uh, 80 20 extrusion, I think it is. It's all I got all the V wheels, extreme wheels from Open Build as well. Uh, there's a picture of that Z plate a little better. Pretty solid. You, know, you can see I'm shaking the camera, I'm shaking it, but uh, very solid machine. And then here's my uh, very unorganized electronics box. I had this really organized when I first done it and there's one solder joint. It took me forever to figure out what was, not co what was causing the problem. So uh, now it's kind of a mess in there. I have not gone back and fixed it yet but at some point maybe I will. So here's a kind of a backing out view of the CNC router and hope you enjoyed this quick video and uh, we'll probably get more involved with it as uh, time goes along. Uh, until tomorrow, have a great day.